In this video, we're going to solve problems using mathematical techniques. The following is a display of the examples I will be working in this video. Feel free to pause the video to get a good look at the problems. Did you get a good look at the problems? Great. So let's take a look at our first one. Pre-sale pricing. A computer is on sale for $1,192. If the original price was reduced by 20%, what was the original price of the computer? So let's try to solve this problem. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is our solution. First thing we're going to do is we're going to let x equal the original price of the computer. Then the sale price to x minus 20% of x. And since we are given that our sale price is $1,192, we can simply set $1,192 equal to x minus 20% of x. So I'm going to say 1, 1, 9, 2 is equal to x minus 20% of x, okay? And then we solve for x. So I'm going to convert 20% into a decimal, which is 0.20x. And now we have 1x here minus 0.20x. So we need to add them together. So I'm gonna come out to the side and say one minus 0 0.2. And I'm going to go ahead and line up my decimal points, which is going to be 0 0.8. So we have one, one, nine, two is equal to 0 0.8 X. So now we divide both sides by 0 0.8. So we say X is equal to 1192 over 0 0.8. Okay, so I want to get rid of the decimal. So I'm going to say 11920 over 8. So I basically multiply the top and the bottom by 10 so that we can scoot the decimal place over one time. So now I'm gonna come out to the side and I'm just going to divide 11920 by 8. So really quickly, 8, 9, 10, 11, bring down our 9. Then we have 4 here, bring down 2, bring down our 2. And 8 goes into 72 9 times, okay? zero, zero. All right, so then our final answer is one, four, nine, zero. So now we said that X is equal to the original price of the computer. And our question wants to know what is the original price of the computer, right? So um, the original price of the computer is X is equal to $1,490, okay? And that is how you solve this problem using mathematical modeling techniques. Not so bad, huh? Let's take a look at our second problem. Test scores. A student's first three test scores are 81, 75, and 77. What must the student score on the next test to raise the average to 80. 
Okay, so let's work this problem. Okay, so we have a total of one, two, three, four test scores, but the fourth one is unknown. So we want to raise the average to 80. So we want to set 80 equal to 81 plus 75 plus 77 plus x all over 4. And then we solve for x. So if I multiply both sides by 4, we get 320 is equal to 81 plus 75 plus 77 plus x. And so what we want to do is we want to add these three numbers together. So we have 320 is equal to 233 plus x. Now we subtract 233 from both sides. So we get 87 is equal to x, okay? So student must make a grade of 87.